Hey guys, so I was asked how many books and everything I have, so I'm just going to do this video, and hopefully it's not too long, but I'm going to show you guys my books. So I'm going to start at the top, which is where I have my paperbacks. I'm actually missing some, as you can see, these two are falling over. From this one, I'm missing five that my mother's reading, and then I also have one, two, and three in paperback as well that I lent to a friend so she's reading those and I'll, eventually I'll get them back and then I, can ha I have one two and three here so I have two sets of one two and three in paperback so that's that then on this shelf let me move these out of the way I have the hardcovers of the UK edition of 1 through 7, the whole set. And we'll go down to this side. I have here, I have the US version of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them and Quidditch Throughout the Ages. The US versions of Tales of Peter the Bard, the little hardback one. This is the UK version of Tales of the Bard, which I did do a video comparing the both. This is the paperbacks for the UK, Quidditch Throughout the Ages, and Fantastic Beasts, Beasts and Where to Find Them. And then I also have these two, which is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and Quidditch Throughout the Ages. These are also Bloomsbury, so it's UK ones. I didn't know about these. Well, I'll, I'll probably do a video on comparing these four UK ones. This way I have the fan books with Dear Mr. Potter, the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook, which I have the second one coming, which is the sweets shop kit. I haven't gotten in here yet. Um, the collector's handbook, Muggle Nets, two books, What Would Happen in Harry Potter 7, and Harry Potter Should Have Died. And then I have Melissa and Ellie's Harry of History. Then I have the film wizardry book, I have the pop-up book, and I also just ordered the new, the second part to the film wizardry book, which is from Pages to Journey, Harry Potter, collector's edition of Tales of Beale the Bard, which I did a video on as well. Then go down this way, I'm going to move these back to where they were. Here in, in the video you guys saw, which is the homemade... Defense Against the Dark Arts, and Events Potion Making Books. On this side, I have the hardcovers, or hardback, 1 through 7, regular. And then, if we go to these three right here, these are the deluxe editions of 5, 6, and 7, which basically the deluxe was... They just brought extra pictures and stuff like that. And then I have the 10 year anniversary edition of Sorcerer's Stone that they did. I have another paperback for Prison of Raskaman, which was just a first edition, first print, never read. I did a, a video on this one. These two are the Sorcerer's Stone teacher edition which I will be doing a video on and then I have another Sorcerer's Stone and Chamber of Secrets paperback which I'll be doing a video on because they're different so that's pretty much my books I have one two three four five six seven eight about Eight Sorcerer's Stone books. Um, Chamber of Secrets, I have one, two, three, four, five. Five of them. Persian Mask Red, I have one, two, three, four, five. Goblet of Fire, I have one, two, three, four, four. Order of the Phoenix, I have one, two, three, four. 
Popular prints, I have one, two, three, four. And Deathly Hollows, I have one, two, three, four. So I have anywhere from four to like ten copies of the books, which I probably get more because I'm always on eBay lo looking for books and I'm always in Goodwill stores looking for books to see if I find like first edition fresh prints or like rare copies or anything what the case may be. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please post below. Bye.